<laughs> mushrooms. But I love this. Oh, you want my help? Oh. Is it a thumbs up? Oh my god. Ew. Zucchini. Look and smell really good. Hi. I'm gonna make brownies. Mmm. I like it. The bake looks amazing. That's fluffy and good. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the world's okayest mom, and my kids are sneaky. They're total pranksters, but I am much sneakier. So I want to try something because my kids are, for the most part, really good eaters, but I do know that they have some specific foods that they really don't like. So for an entire week, I'm going to try to sneak their least favorite foods into dishes and see how I do. So wish me luck. The plan is I'm going to tally up all of the kids' collective least favorite foods, and I'm gonna try to sneak them into food for a week. I hope that at the end of this, I can show them that some foods that they thought they hated actually taste good, and if they just don't overthink it, they're able to try it. It's really important to me to raise my kids with open minds, and so when they have a preconceived notion about a food that they just, by default, don't like, it's something I wanna work on. Okay, so something that I'm gonna do tonight, um, and it's an ingredient we, what? It's an ingredient we've seen before, mushrooms. If you saw me hide veggies in my kids' foods for a week, you saw that Jackson has always hated mushrooms. I hid them in burgers and suddenly he loved them. Well, it's very hit and miss from then on out with him and mushrooms. So I wanna try again in a more creative way. So I'm going to make a chicken with a creamy mushroom sauce. All right, I've got mushrooms, garlic, salt and pepper cooking. I have my mushrooms and garlic and some butter in here. I'm gonna add cream and then I'm gonna blend it. Okay, I overcrowded my pan, my chicken looks bland. Hopefully this helps. Oh my God, ew. You know, there's this thing called mom brain and it's just, there are so many things going in my brain at once and I just, things fall through the cracks. I thought I was using cream. I was using heavy whipping cream. So when I went to blend it, it started to whip. So now it's just a mess. It's like a soup. It's like a mushroom chicken soup. I'm gonna add some stock. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, plot twist. I shredded the chicken. I added a bunch of parsley because it just looks brown. Maybe it'll taste good. I put this over rice. You could not tell that there were mushrooms in this dish at all. They were completely invisible. Let's see what the kids think. Mm. Wyatt's hair looks a little different these days. I really let my kids do what they want with their hair. So I was letting him decide to cut it on his own time. But he saw a guy in a show with a haircut that he liked and he asked for it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Double thumbs up. You like mm. it? Mm. Yep. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. What does it taste mm. like? Is it? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Are you enjoying? So is this like a trend food from another country thing? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not from another country, it's just new recipes. Oh. Should I make it again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mama? What? I don't like it. I love it! Ooh! It's amazing. Yum yum. Time for another secret. Hated food, zucchini. There's a lot of squash slander in this house and I'm just not having it, I'm not for it. I'm going to grate this and make zucchini fritters. I am actually going to salt this zucchini and I'm gonna let it sit and absorb all the moisture and then I'm going to drain the moisture from this so I'm not getting super soggy pancakes. And this is what I'm left with. Luckily, when I was prepping the zucchini, the kids were outside, but I did have to work very quickly because if they came back in the house at any time, when I'm squeezing out shredded zucchini, the whole dish would be a moot point. Because again, with these foods, a lot of it is mental. The second they know there's zucchini in there, they don't want it. I have a little pancake mix. I'm just gonna do a dash of milk. Okay, but these? Look and smell really good. I definitely saw that there was a lot of green left. Maybe I should have peeled the zucchini, but I just, I feel like the skin is the best part. So I decided if they asked, I was going to tell them it was cucumber. Wow, this is good. Sour cream looks like whipped cream. I know, it does, huh? Mm. What do you think? Mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. I was pretty surprised that they were very receptive to the green coloring and they ate it and they enjoyed. Wyatt's enjoying 
His Jackson's making art. Henry is oh, munching sorry. away. It's really good. I taste the cucumber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yummy. Hi. Today's experiment. I'm making muffins. I'm baking muffins. Nobody cares. The boys just hate it for no good reason because they love pumpkin, which is almost the same thing. But the second it's butternut squash, they do not like it. I drew inspiration from my grandma's recipe for carrot cake bars. Instead of grating carrots, she uses baby food and it tastes delicious and it's very smooth and it's very soft and M-O-I-S-T. I just added it to a muffin, like as if I was making an apple muffin. Ooh, it looks good. Wow. Look, I like it. Pumpkin flavor. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Everybody loved the muffins. It was the perfect dish. <laughs> Okay, so my spaghetti squash doesn't work because apparently I cannot eat it or cook it if it's sprouted on the inside. So I ordered another one. In the meantime, I'm gonna give mushrooms another try because I failed so badly with that other recipe. So I got a really glorious mushroom. This is called a hen of the woods and I'm gonna try to make like mushroom chips out of this. I peeled the little petals off of the mushroom. I tossed them in oil with salt and pepper and I roasted them until they were nice and crispy. Is this asparagus? It's chips. What do you think, honey? Wow, that's good. Mmm. Ooh, those are tasty. Try it. Mm, mm. Good? Mm-hmm. I made my own chips. So why don't you approve? Do you want some more? Yeah. Why started shoveling them into his mouth? Like shoveling them in. He loved them. Mm. It looks like mushroom. Oh, mommy. Hmm? It looks like mushroom. It does? Yeah, nothing. How does it look like a mushroom? Who would think that looks like mushroom? You know, the kids had a little back and forth on what it actually was. They settled on they were made out of potatoes. The goal is not to trick them for the week. The goal is to find a way to have them enjoy these foods. Round two of spaghetti squash. So I did keep the sprouts and I'm going to plant them. He's out there burying the squash. Why are you putting concrete on it? No. So instead of getting another spaghetti squash, I ended up buying like frozen already spaghetti squash. And I think I have a pretty brilliant idea for this. So I'm gonna make a hash brown egg bake with half hash browns, half spaghetti squash. Cause I feel like hash browns and spaghetti squash are kind of one in the same like texture wise. And because I was feeling so confident, I decided to add one more sneaky food into this. And I decided to try my hand at hot dogs. Jackson really doesn't like hot dogs. I don't really care that he doesn't like them. He doesn't have to eat them. I just thought it'd be a fun thing to try. I decided to slice the hot dogs really thin, cut the ends off, and fry it up like bacon. I did eggs, cheese, spaghetti squash, hash browns, and a little bit of cream and some seasonings. Mixed it all up, poured it into a casserole dish, and baked that all the way through. I felt super confident in this one because visually there was no trace of it, and the smell was delicious, the texture was amazing, and I was feeling like this was gonna be a total success. What do you think, Jackson? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Good. I think that's mm -hmm. an egg bite. Mm. I'm not mm. mm. Hash brown eggy. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. It could not have gone more flawlessly. It just made my week. You know when you try something and you're not sure how it's gonna go and everybody likes it and you're just like, I did that. Yeah. Here we go. Two minutes. I'm making queso. So corn is very controversial in our house because everybody unanimously loves corn. However, Wyatt will not eat corn unless it's on the cob. Just something about it, something about him, his corn fantasy <laughs> has to be on the cob. Shall I? I blended this with a little milk. 
and I'm going to add it into the queso. I felt like this idea with the corn was so good, I decided to make a reel for Tasty's Instagram of the recipe because I was so excited to try it. But that is where I went wrong. Save a few whole ones to sprinkle in at the end. So while I'm making the reel, I'm realizing the texture of this for adults is a little bit baby food. It's a little bit too smooth. I think I should add back some more corn kernels. Wrong. This is so good. Holy moly. Oh, Ooh, that smells good. The mm. cheesy dip. The chip mm. smells good too. What? Mm. I got to call. It's a cheesy dip. Hmm. Can I do a big old dip? Ooh, it's nice and cheesy. I like it. Mm. Here's the thing about kids. The older they get, the nosier they are and the more they notice. Buddy? Uh, I do taste the corn, it's amazing. Mmm. <sighs> the what? The corn, it's amazing with the corn. You taste corn in that? Mm-hmm. How? Because. It's a cheese dip. But then why is, is there corn? sweet? Then why is there corn pieces in it? Cheese. Fresh cheese. And so why I didn't want it. Why I was so excited to try it. It definitely tasted amazing. He would have liked it. But the second Jackson pointed out that there was corn, done. Zip. Done zo. Why? Why won't you eat it? No. Here, come try. Sit up. You're a cool guy with your glasses. Mm. You're at the football game. Mm. You're having your queso. Come on. There's no corn. There's a chili. Grab it. I taste corn. Honey. I want to eat it off the camera. Off camera? Okay, I turn off. I feel like this is something really important to talk about and stress actually, because I think there's this notion of a lot of family channels or family shows, um, just being the parents with a camera in their kid's face at all times. We film this because it's super fun for us and we enjoy it. My kids have their boundaries though, where they're allowed to tell me they don't wanna be on camera and I respect it and they don't have to be. So back to my corn fail, Wyatt did end up trying it off camera and he did acknowledge that it tasted good, but again, the mental notion of knowing that there are corn kernels in there just ruined it for him and he wouldn't actually eat it. But I did actually win because Wyatt not eating the dip meant more for me. Today's food. Wyatt has a real problem. Jackson has a slight problem. I'm gonna make brownies with this. So the recipe I did was definitely a healthier version of a brownie. I used mashed bananas and maple syrup instead of sugar. And I added a lot of avocado and Basically, the rest was kind of standard brownie ingredients. Ooh, are you making brownies? Mm-hmm. Do it. Can we eat it? What are you making? I'm making brownies. The mistake I made was I didn't blend the avocado. I mashed it, and so once it baked, I could see little green pieces in it. So I was really nervous about that. Okay. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. Mmm. Banana? I love bananas. You like the brownies? It's amazing. They wolfed down these brownies. They loved them so much and had no idea. <laughs> <It's> amazing! Mmm, <laughs> so good. Are you almost done with your brownie? Yeah, I inhaled it. It's so good. Oh, it is? So good. Gotta say, mmm, so good. Mmm, so good. So did I make it through the week without them noticing? No, I definitely failed in that regard, but I did succeed in a lot of other ways because I found some great recipes for incorporating foods that my kids thought they hated. You know those foods I was making? Yeah. You know, like the chicken with rice you really liked yeah. and the muffins and yeah. mm -hmm. the brownies. Yeah. They all had your least favorite foods in them. What? Yes. Is your mind blown? So they said that they were open to these foods now and really I think a huge key to food acceptance is finding a way that you really enjoy the food and then therefore when you see that ingredient in a different way, 
you're way more willing to try it. I think that that'll carry over with a lot of these ingredients that I tried with the kids, and I think next time they see it, they might be a lot more open-minded. Except for corn. Corn, I, I give up. Sorry, corn. You're only on the cob. So that's all for now. And please message me on Instagram if you go through this too with kids disliking certain foods for no reason. Tell me how you've overcome it and tell me if there are any foods that I should try to get my kids to eat that they're missing out on. Now if you'll please excuse me, I'm about to order an extra, extra large pizza, extra, extra mushrooms. Can't wait to share it with everyone. Until next time.